what's good guys welcome back to ron's rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where i want to know what do you guys think about this new and modern elegant coupe called the Alfa Romeo GTL. Now, Alfa Romeo plans to unveil new models in the coming years, including the highly anticipated Tonale, which just had its first official video teaser on December 31st. And at this time, the Bicioni range does not include an accessible coupe or two door as the 4C is no longer available for purchase. So waiting for official information, this renderer, Matteo Gettili, published on Instagram a few days ago, an interesting digital project called the Alfa Romeo GTL, which shows how it could be the potential successor of a fantastic two-door GT coupe like the Tipo 937 produced by Alfa Romeo between 2003 and 2010. Now, considering that it has not been years since the car has left the market, its elegant design remains etched in the memory of the Alfa enthusiast. Even if it is not a popular segment, such as like the SUVs, such a GTL could allow the historic Odyssey brand to increase its registrations. Now, the front of the digital project is characterized by a muscular bonnet by elegant optical groups with LED technologies by the iconic Trelobo with the Alfa Romeo logo in the center on the top and by a lower grille with a honeycomb texture plus a smaller splitter most likely made of carbon fiber. Now the latter material was also used for the side skirts, multi-spoke alloy wheels and side air intakes. The side profile is made up of sleek muscular lines, chrome window frames and doors with retractable handles. Also note the exterior mirrors with cameras instead of traditional ones. Now moving to the rear, you'll find the two rear lights always with LED technology that cut the tailgate, the back of the Alfa Romeo logo positioned in the center, and a black carbon fiber diffuser with two particular tailpipes positioned in the center. Now under the hood of the Alfa Romeo GTL, you could expect some engines brought from the Julian Stelvio, including a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 with 510 horsepower, 600 newt meters of maximum torque as a possibility of a quadrifolio version. Now this is also a hypothesis of a 100% electric variant with dual motor configuration and all wheel drive. At least for the moment, the Slantis brand has no intention on bringing a coupe to the market. So Mateo's digital project remains only now for a dream, but I want to know, what do you guys think about a two-door coupe called the GTL for Alfa Romeo? Would you like something slick like this rendering here? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll have a bigger discussion on an Alfa Romeo GTL modern day elegant coupe. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. Hey, I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. Now you guys can also check out the Ron's Rides merch, just in case you guys want tank tops, backpacks, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rides is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. So everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.